All right, in this video, we're going to discuss z-scores, and we're using example 6.1 from the OpenStax textbook, which you can download for free with this link. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what this example is saying. So they started with uh, an assumption that the random variable x, okay, and I'm using capital X to represent a random variable. This little squiggly line means distributed as n represents normal, and then 5 and 6, right? And what's going on here? The first, the first number, whenever you write this n and then open parentheses, this first number is always mu, right? Which is the mean of the normal distribution. And 6 is the standard deviation for the normal distribution. Okay, so next in this example they say, um, suppose little x equals 17, okay? What is little x, right? Little x is just one observation from the, the possible values that this random variable can take, right? So the random variable, it, it's normally distributed. It can take any values, right? Very likely to be around five in the center and near the mean and then less likely to be further to the sides, right? So little x is just one observation. It's over here to the right, way over here, 17, okay? So this is what little x is. All right, then they want us to uh, find z, okay? So there's a nice formula for z. z equals little x minus mu divided by sigma, okay? so. Let's see, what is little x? It's 17. Mu is 5. Sigma is 6. Okay, don't forget you have to do what's in the top of that fraction first. So the numerator first. So 12 divided by 6, which is 2. All right, so what does that mean? What is z, what, is it, what does it matter, right? What is that, right? What that's saying is that 17 is two standard deviations above the mean. Right, so this means that 17 is two standard deviations, all right, SD to notate standard deviations, above, or you could say to the right of, the mean. Okay, and so if we look back over at this normal distribution that I drew up top here, uh, what, is that, what is that saying? Basically, if I were to go five, and then add on two standard deviations, so two sigma, right? Or in other words, five plus two times, what's sigma? Six. Five plus 12, which is 17. Okay, so if I were to basically go two standard deviations, two sigma above the mean, right? I'm adding two standard deviations above the mean, then I'll get that 17, that observation 17. So what is z? z is the number of standard deviations you are from the mean. Okay, so then there's another example. Um, suppose, once again, we still have the same random variable x is normally distributed with mean 5, standard deviation 6. Okay, but now uh, suppose we have a little x that equals 1. And what we want to do is we want to find z. So again, z equals little x minus mu divided by sigma. Little x is one, mu is right here, five, sigma is six. So we have negative four over six, which is negative two thirds. And then when we round this, we usually round all z scores to two decimal places. So this would be point six seven. Okay, so that's our z-score. What does it mean, right? So if I were to draw my distribution, here I have five. My observation was one, right? And notice that if I were to take five and I were to subtract now, because this is a negative z-score, 0 0.67 times my standard deviation, right? So, or in other words, 5 minus 0 0.67 times 6. 
If you were to plug that into your calculator, you'll get approximately one, right? If, if you use the fraction and didn't do any rounding error, then it would be exactly one. So basically one is 0.67 standard deviations below the mean, okay? So let me write that here. One is 0.67 standard deviations below, because it's negative below the mean. Okay, so that's just a very brief introduction to what a z-value is, and there's a lot more that we can do with it, and we're going to continue that conversation in the next videos.